you know this secret gives you everything you want. They're narcissists, right? So they were like, yeah, I'm going to get this yacht and this boat and this car. And, like, they have all these stupid... <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Like, they're totally misusing the whole concept. Right? You can have, do, or be anything you want. If we could wish for whatever we want and it comes true, I want a penis. We can have whatever it is that we choose. I don't care how big it is. Here comes Queenie hitting on all your women, folk. I've seen many miracles take place in people's lives. Ooh, I want a penis. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you, Queen. The secret is the law of attraction. It's not working for about 95 or more percent of the people. It always works. It works every time with every person. Then why doesn't it work for most people who have found out about the secret? Here's the problem. Most people are thinking about what they don't want, and they're wondering why it shows up over and over and over again. And so if at the time uh, Jody is aware that Mr. Alexander is being unfaithful to her, pursuant to the law of attraction, does she need to ignore that? She needs to focus on, on the outcome, what she wants to have happen at the end, as opposed to what's happening right now. So what's my picture kind of for the future as opposed to what's happening right now? When you think of the things that you want and you focus on them with all of your intention, the law of attraction will give you what you want every time. If you want good things to come into your life, you have to think good things, you have to imagine good things, and you really can't think about bad things because that creates exactly what you don't want. So when you focus on the things that you don't want, you really are calling that into existence. So her belief is that the law of attraction means that she has to focus on what's good and what's positive, even if it means ignoring what's going on behind her back. The law of attraction is not biased to wants or don't wants. It manifests the things that you think you want. Because there are negative things that happen in life, and there's also positive things. And so the secret encourages people to only focus on the positive aspects of life, which unfortunately just causes disappointment quite a bit. Creation is always happening. Every time an individual has a thought, or a prolonged, uh, chronic way of thinking, they're in the creation process. Something is going to manifest out of those thoughts. Would you agree that you're the person who actually slit Mr. Alexander's throat from ear to ear? Yes. The law of attraction is really obedient. The law of attraction is always working, whether you believe it or understand it or not. Would you also agree that you're the individual that stabbed him in the upper torso? Yes. You're doing to this to this individual after you have already shot him, right? Yes. All of this happened because of knowing how to apply the secret. Wow, that um managed to get really dark really quick. Let let's lighten things up a little bit here. Um, yeah, that was starting to get uncomfortable. So we may be very positive in our outlook and orientation, and we tend to attract positive people and positive events and circumstances. We may be very negative in our orientation or very angry, in which case we tend to attract negative angry people and negative angry circumstances. No shit, Sherlock. Dicks attract dicks. And people who have a positive attitude tend to attract like-minded people. It tends to be the case, but that's psychology. That's, that's not the secret. When you focus on something with a lot of passion, it makes it happen even faster. I can see that. <laughs> okay. And so you end up attracting to you the, the predominant thoughts that you're holding in your awareness, whether those thoughts are conscious or whether they're unconscious. We live in a universe in which there are laws. Just as there's a law of gravity, if you fall off a building, it doesn't matter whether you're a good person or a bad person, you can hit the ground. Hey, if it's a law, it never gets broken, and if it's broken, it can't be a law, by definition. We're going to discuss some of the myths about the so-called law of attraction and why it doesn't seem to work for you. Today I wanted to talk about why doesn't the secret work? The way most of us look at the law of attraction is incredibly delusional. 
I mean, I'm not talking to you from the point of view of just wishful thinking or imaginary craziness. I'm talking to you from a deeper, basic understanding. The law of attraction is looked at in a one-dimensional way for ego gratification, oftentimes using the facade of self-healing and self-growth, even the facade of spirituality, to rationalize an ego gratification mindset. Your life is a physical manifestation of the thoughts that go on in your head. They say that you can literally, you think a thought and the universe will conspire, everything in the universe will shift to make your thought turn into reality. Quantum physics really begins to point to this discovery. Actually, I have an interesting part of Wikipedia about this guy for you guys that's germane to this topic. It says that you can't have a universe without mind entering into it. The connection relied on similarity between the properties of quantum mechanical fields and consciousness, but the parallels Hegelian highlighted between the field theory and the Vedas rested on ambiguity, obscurity, and vague analogy supported by the construction of arbitrary similarities. The mind is actually shaping the very thing that is being perceived. So essentially this guy's whole thesis on this field of linking consciousness to quantum Wu revolved around the Texas sharpshooter fallacy. Now if you don't understand it doesn't mean you should reject it. You don't understand electricity probably. First of all, no one even knows what electricity is. What the fuck? Yeah, what? you don't understand. You know what electricity is, <laughs> what, like he doesn't know what electricity is. Um, but he has wires. Um, what? It is, it is, this, yeah. But do you know how it works? I don't know how it works. Try Google. It's your friend. Argument from ignorance. Stable atoms have an equal number of protons and electrons and have no charge. If a material holds onto its electrons tightly, it is known as an insulator. If its electrons are more loosely bound, it's called a conductor. When a large number of free electrons pile up at one end of a conductor, particles that have the same charge repel each other, while particles that have opposite charges attract. These negative electrons push each other apart, jumping from atom to atom through the conductor, creating electricity. It has been proven now scientifically that an affirmative thought is hundreds of times more powerful than a negative thought. All of your thoughts don't come true instantly. Jesus! Citizen, I am Captain Obvious! Our feelings let us know what it is that we're thinking. So your thoughts cause your feelings? Yeah, tell me something I don't know. I can't. You have good feelings and you have bad feelings. And you know the difference between the two because one makes you feel good and the other makes you feel bad. Okay. Yep. Ergo, is it, is it just me, or does this sound like uh, you know the Beach Boys song? Good, good, good vibrations, pop, pop. Yeah. I mean, it seems like it's publicized by that song. The the yeah. thing that gets me though is the notion that if it makes you feel good, it is good. Ah, yeah. 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 Hey, I'm, hey, look. Uh, I I'll have you know, I'm from a, I'm an aging hippie from the '60s, and if it feels good, do it. Yeah, but there's a certain... I think that's a bit of a push. Yeah. <laughs> there are some things that, you know, I feel like caving someone's head in. I know, I know. Maybe, maybe not the way maybe to go. Maybe not. <laughs> Punching him in the face would make me feel really good, but I know that's not the best of actions. Everything that's around you right now in your life, including the things you're complaining about, you've attracted. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop right here. So, by his logic, no... But no woman has ever been raped because she did technically think about it and thus she attracted it. Her negativity yep. attracted it to her. <laughs> exactly. Her negativity showed me she wanted it. When I it really wanted... wonder if that shit would work in a court. Like, in an actual court. No. You know, you're going to immediately say, I didn't attract the car accident. I didn't attract this particular client. I didn't uh, particularly attract the debt. I didn't uh, attract whatever it happens to be that you're complaining about. And I'm here to be a little bit in your face and to say, yes, you did attract it. And that's the thing is, um, with, with this kind of notion, when you have an area that is hit by a, a monsoon or anything like this, it's the negativity of the people in the area that attracted it. 
How, how did how did someone in uh, attract a car accident? Oh, by the, by having negative thoughts. Yep, they they had a negative thought about it, and of course it just happened. No, no, no. The thought didn't have any even have to have anything to do with the car accident. You just did had to be not focusing on the positive. Just think about the negative, and that car accident comes right after you. Exactly. We're thinking negatively. Damn. Uh, I, I know, Cliff, you have that look of my brain hurts. Yeah. If you're feeling good, then you're creating a future that's on track with what you're desiring. If you're feeling bad, you're creating a future that's off track with your desires. They, yeah. they brought it upon themselves because they published these cartoons. Just been burgled. It's your fault you had nice stuff. Just been punched yeah. into the face. In the face. It's your own fault because you had a punchable face. Been fondled by a Catholic priest. It's your fault for being a, a young boy, a young altar boy. You can begin right now to feel healthy. You can begin to feel prosperous. You can begin to feel the love that's surrounding you, even if it's not there. So if you are in a room completely surrounded by people who hate and despise you, you can feel the love that surrounds you. And it will come back to you. And what will happen is the universe will correspond to the nature of your song. The universe will correspond to the nature of that inner feeling and manifest because that's the way you feel. So in other words, if you were back in World War II and you were in a concentration camp and you were using the secret, the Nazis would suddenly love you and want to let you go. Because you can feel the love that surrounds you even when it's not there. Once you begin to understand and truly master your thoughts and feelings, that's when you see how you create your own reality. That's where your freedom is. That's where all your power is. That's when you see how you can become a deliberate creator of your life. If we could wish for whatever we want and it comes true, I want a penis. And it will eventually get you to the destination of whatever it is you truly want because you want it. The law of attraction is looked at in a one-dimensional way for ego gratification. It is no more difficult to attract on a scientific level something that we consider huge to something that we consider infinitesimally small. So the secret encourages people to only focus on the positive aspects of life, which unfortunately dis causes disappointment quite as there are negative things that happen in life and there's also positive things. Well, I am very sad to say I do have a little bit more of this crap to go through. About six more minutes worth of clips. This has been grueling enough. Next time, we'll be covering this. It's important to recognize that our body is really the product of our thoughts. We're beginning to understand in medical science the degree to which the nature of thoughts and emotions actually determines the physical substance and structure and function of our bodies. They just had to go there, didn't they? Oh well. This is Shadow Heathen signing off for now. Have a good fucking day.